Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I'm going to share with you something that I just got and received from Dayton, Ohio, from an absolute wonderful, masterful leather worker named Chip Brown over at Brown Cow Art. Uh, he works the Ohio Renaissance Festival uh, quite a bit. This has been a year and a half in the making. Um, I have, I'm super pleased with the outcome. It was well worth the wait. And what is this item in question that Roy's yammering on about for about 38 seconds? Well, let's just get right into it. Boom, will you look at that beauty right there. This is my new leather apron that I got from Brown uh, Cow Art. Um, again, Chip Brown, he's a master leather worker. He's a master at what he does. Um, it even's got flame details around the bottom of the flare. So be prepared to see this in a lot of upcoming videos and content in the new year. Also, has got a great brass buckle on the back end side. I'll bring up some B-roll as I'm talking here of uh, of all the details and the features of this because you're kind of hard to see it at a distance here. Um, but yeah, I am just super thrilled with this. So thank you, Chip, um, for getting this done. I know it's been a year, year and a half in the making. You've been super busy and he just recently moved to upgrade to a much bigger shop himself uh, along with doing the fair seasons and things like that. And so I am just super happy and thankful and blessed that he was able to get that done um, for me during Thanksgiving when I was back home for the holidays. So again, thank you, Chip. Really do appreciate it, sir. But if you look at this, this thing is just absolutely amazing. Um, will it protect my legs any better than a cheap apron? Yes and no. That's a good question. So do you need to take and spend a lot of money on an apron? I like to take and get into that because I get that question quite a bit when people look at my aprons and you're just getting started. I have a fancy for more expensive aprons, but that's just because I like pretty things and I like masterfully done stuff and I try to put my money to that and that's kind of what I value. But as far as just getting, uh, getting the job done, any sort of piece of leather will work to take and protect the front of your britches or the front of your clothes from arcs and sparks and cinders. Uh, for a lot of years I spent uh, wearing just a Harbor Freight welder's apron. They have a a welder's kit. I'll put it, it's a beginner's welder's kit, basically, protective leather kit. It comes with a pair of gloves, it comes with a little shop apron that you can wear, um, and like a welding stick bag or something, which I don't know, you could throw some candy in there, or rulers, or whatever. Um, in fact, I still have the leather bag. It hangs in by my, uh, you know, my shop table, uh, and I still have the leather apron as well. So uh, it still lasts a really long time if you're going to take care of them uh, and take care of them well. Um, and I think that whole thing cost me 20 bucks. So 20 bucks, got a great apron. You know, it's a, just a piece of leather. It's not real thick, um, you know, but it lasted quite a long time for me. Then I graduated up to getting a much nicer apron off of eBay, I believe it is. I'll put a link to the aprons, an Amazon affiliate link. It goes to help support the channel if you do purchase something through that link. So be aware at no additional cost to you. But I'll put some links so you guys can take a look at these individual aprons that I got or like products of the ones that I had. And those were the start, right? That was the beginning. Um, as I started doing it more professionally, I wanted to do something more professionally with a, you know, look more professional in an apron than just having a, a, a dirty, grease-soaked <laughs> apron all the time. So that's where custom aprons come in when you want to start looking fancy and whatnot. Um, of course, this apron is made out of a bit of buffalo hide, and then it has your regular really heavyweight, like I guess it's 10-ounce uh, cowhide, you know, leather here up top for the belly band portion. And this was also designed so the belly band jumps up a little bit onto my stomach. Reason for that being is I wanted the extra protection right in the guts area for when I'm working at power hammers, just in case I ever make the mistake of having the power hammers, the power hammer tongs positioned just in front of me. I'll have some protection in case there's some kickback or anything like that. Um, the flare at the bottom, that is just artistic flare. Chip did a wonderful job. It's got things like coal chased in. <laughs> it's just got coal that's chased in there um, and hand tooled 
flames on here and everything's been dyed real pretty. Just, again, just gorgeous, gorgeous work. On the back, obviously, you've got some, uh, you've got a belt, big two inch, I think it's two inch, two and a half inch wide belt, uh, which I, if I can recommend something, if you're gonna get an apron, get a wide belt with the apron. I don't know what it is, it just feels good. The way it rests across my hips, it's just kind of gives that little snug kind of uh, good feeling to it. So I would suggest a very wide belt if you do get a lap apron. The little thin belts, they tend to rub on your back, at least mine does. <laughs> I've got a little, uh, little, little extra fat in the back, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, it, it tends to cut in and kind of rub that area and it can kind of chafe. So the wider belt, I've really been loving that. Uh, again, I can definitely recommend that. And then if you're doing a split apron, sometimes it's nice to have leg straps as well to just help form the apron uh, around your legs so it's more comfortable fit. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically in a nutshell how I got this apron. Uh, it was a great thing, super excited if you can't tell. <laughs> it was a long time coming. Uh, and you know, it was well worth every penny I spent on it. Uh, so I'll put a link, uh, I got a lot of links. If you haven't ever been down in the description section, Jessica puts a lot of resource links in there. Um, everything from links to our website, to our mailing list, to Instagram, things like that. Uh, so if you wanna connect with us on a deeper level, definitely check in the description down below. If you don't know what that is on your screen somewhere, I don't know which way it's gonna be when it plays out back to you, but basically it's on the bottom right-hand corner and it looks like a little upside down triangle. You tap that and it'll...